You're no more than a few minutes away from enjoying the pasta experience of a lifetime. Fresh, homemade pasta, as only you and the new Pasta Express from Creative Technologies can make it. We produced this video to help you achieve the best results from your new pasta maker. During this program, we'll demonstrate the correct measures and preparations for a variety of pasta ingredients and familiarize you with your unit inside and out. Additionally, we'll illustrate hints and tips for superior pasta making as developed by the home economists at the Creative Technologies Laboratory Kitchens. So dim the lights, sit back, relax, and think linguini. To start, we'd like to introduce you to the lovely Mary, our demonstrator. She's 27, comes from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and has been an actress since the age of four. Mary will begin by familiarizing you with the various parts and accessories of your new pasta maker. Mary, who told us during her audition that her hobby is pointing at pasta machine parts, has removed the pasta maker and all the accessories from the box. Here, she's pointing to the various dyes that come with the machine, from linguine to lasagna, to gnocchi, breadsticks, and even cookies. Our pasta maker comes with an array of dyes to make a host of pasta varieties. Now, here's a very important accessory. It's the Creative Technologies Special Measuring Cup. Each side indicates a level for the different liquid recipes for pasta dough. Please, do not confuse this cup with a common measuring cup. This cup has been specifically designed for our machine. Notice the understated elegance, the clean, bold lines. We've also enclosed this high-tolerance, technologically advanced cleaning probe for removing dough from the tiny holes in the dies. Our engineers cleverly designed it to resemble a common pushpin to thwart the shocking incidents of cleaning probe thefts in North America. There are some safety tips you should know about your pasta maker. First, you'll find that the machine will turn off as soon as the top cover is lifted and will not turn on until the top cover is firmly seated. However, the top cover should not be used as an on-off switch. The second safety point, as attractive as it may sound, never bathe with your pasta maker or take it to the beach. You'll find you can have just as much fun with it indoors and out of water. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary is now going to make pasta. We believe your own pasta making experience will be enhanced by the proper mood music, perhaps some Chopin or some Bach. We've selected this highly repetitive stock music because the licensing rights were dirt cheap. Now we begin. For the purposes of this demonstration, Mary uses the linguine dye and general purpose flour. Mary soaks the dye in hot tap water for 30 seconds or so. Heating the dye will help in the extrusion process later on. Now, she measures the flour. She fills the creative cup all the way, tapping it lightly to make sure it settles. Levels it with a knife. and pours it into the machine with the cover off. She does this twice. Next, she adds a pinch of salt, then places the cover back on the mixing bowl, latching it down securely. Now she's ready to prepare the liquid in the measuring cup. For this demonstration, Mary uses two eggs, two or three drops of olive oil, and tap water. Delicious, rich pasta can be made using all eggs and eliminating the water. Or, for those concerned with their cholesterol intake, delicious pasta can be made substituting water for the eggs. Had she wanted, Mary could have added spices and garlic to the liquid mixture of the dough. She could have added a fine puree of spinach or tomato or carrot, as long as it doesn't exceed the moisture level indicated on the creative cup. She breaks two eggs into the creative cup. Adds the drops of olive oil. 
and fills the cup with tap water to the line marked two eggs with water. The oil may be olive oil or vegetable oil. The purpose of the oil is to help achieve the best consistency and to aid in the extrusion process. Next, Mary, who literally stole this roll out of the hands of Michelle Pfeiffer, beats the mixture with conviction. She removes the front plate from the machine and places the dye that has been soaking in hot water onto the barrel. Then she places the front plate onto the rods, puts the knobs on, and tightens them evenly. Now Mary is placing water on the stove to boil, right now, in anticipation of having perfect pasta in just a few minutes. It's time to let the machine take over. Mary pushes the switch to the mix position. She slowly pours a third of the liquid at a time into the slot on the cover and allows the dough to mix evenly. The clear mixing bowl allows you to view the consistency of the dough as it mixes. After allowing the dough to mix for approximately three minutes, depending on the kind of flour used, she turns the unit off and removes the cover to check the dough for the proper consistency. Your dough should be pellet-like. Mary's dough is perfect. Notice how it crumbles easily and there are no white granules. You may not be as fortunate as Mary on your first try, but with a little practice you can expect perfect dough every time. It's almost impossible to make a fatal error. If, however, your dough is too dry and you have many white granules, you can add a tablespoon of water and remix for another minute. Repeat this until you have the right consistency. If your dough is too wet and it clusters around the blade or sticks to your fingers, add a tablespoon or two of flour and remix. Now that Mary has achieved the proper consistency, she's ready to extrude. First, she throws the switch forward and within a few moments, Pasta starts to emerge from the dye. The first few inches may bear a startling resemblance to the creature from the movie The Blob. You can cut them off and put them back into the mixing bowl. Within seconds, picture-perfect linguine emerges from the machine. Your Pasta Express is equipped with a small blower to remove excess moisture from the pasta, minimizing the intense embarrassment caused by sticking strands. Remember that water Mary put on the stove? It's now boiling and she's going to place her fresh linguine into it. Because the pasta is fresh, it will only take a minute and a half before she has a gourmet meal. Now, Mary will change dyes. First, she places the machine in the mix mode for five seconds to retrieve the dough that's ready to extrude. Then she removes the front plate, selects the vermicelli dye, which she has soaked in hot water, and places it on the barrel. puts the front plate back on, tightens the knobs, and starts to extrude again. That's all there is to it. When she's finished, almost every bit of dough will have been used, making cleanup a breeze. Now it's time to clean this machine. And here's a departure from the usual instructions. We recommend that you don't be obsessive. You can try to clean it right away, but it's too hard. Once the dough has dried, however, it's a snap to clean. So put it aside and go out for the evening. Another suggestion is to put the used dyes in the freezer. Watch how easily the dye is cleaned after just a few hours in the freezer. Mary will show the proper disassembly of the machine. First, she removes the top cover, then she loosens and removes the front knobs. Then she takes off the front plate. Next, she removes the barrel from the tie rods and mixing bowl. Finally, she removes the mixing bowl and mixing blade. Now, whatever you do, don't put any part of your pasta maker into the dishwasher. Warm water and mild soap are sufficient for cleaning this appliance. And, as you should do with most appliances, unplug it after use. Well, that's it. 
We at Creative Technologies Corporation, creators of tomorrow's technology, hope you have years of pleasure with your pasta machine. On behalf of Mary and the crew, I'd like to say thank you.